PEG PH20, which is a pegylated hyaluronidase. It was developed uh, with the intent of actually making the stroma in pancreatic adenocarcinoma more um, uh, permeable to agents such as drugs. And in preclinical models, this agent uh, really has an impressive uh, effect on the interstitial fluid pressure in the tumor microenvironment. And as that pressure declines, it's clear that more drugs can get into the, you know, the part of interest, which is the epithelial component of the tumor. When all of that knowledge was evolving, there was a tremendous clinical interest in taking this into clinical trials in patients with pancreatic adenocarcinoma. And the, um, the, probably the most important finding from the trials to date has been in uh, the HALO 202 trial, in which it was pretty clear, at least in a subset analysis, and arguably this was a retrospective subset analysis, not a planned one, so that has to be you know, the information has to be taken with some caution. But in the patients who had a lot of hyaluronidase in their tumors, they seemed to get very, very impressive benefit with the addition of PEG PH20. So these results, while not definitive, are extraordinarily provocative and really laid the foundation for HALO 301. And HALO 301 is a placebo-controlled trial in which we're testing whether the addition of PEG PH20 to gemcitabine and albumin bound paclitaxel confers a, uh, an advantage in treatment. The primary endpoint is progression-free survival with a co-primary endpoint of overall survival. So I, I'm thrilled to be involved with this trial because I think it will be the first, if it's successful, and we definitely hope it will be, it'll be the first trial that is a biomarker-driven trial in pancreatic adenocarcinoma. And this is going to be a landmark study.